Hello, Big Brain Cypher Mage. Are you tired of boring Cypher setups? Are you looking for Cypher setups that are spicier than your side check? In today's video, I'll be showing you some of the most basic, most essential Cypher setups that every Cypher main should know. With all of that being said, let's get to it. So how I like to set up for Ascent is, the first thing I'll do is I'll walk into the spawn, place this exact one way, you can line your heart like this, line up your heart like this, and then toss your cage. As you can see, it lands Here. there. And the second cage goes here, like so. Then I'll put a trap wire like this. I like to place this a little higher than in chest level. The next trap wire goes somewhere like this. Oh, cage Reloading. The camera goes somewhere around here. You have something like this. Cage trigger. You know, one way here. It's kind of hot. So, and this is the other one way. So what it looks like. This is torture. Oh yeah. my wife. My eyes are better than yours. Three seconds left. One enemy remaining. Clutch. Talking about variation in traps. This is a god tier trap. I don't change it often. If they don't have a sky or rays, I'll place this trap. It's very effective. Nobody expects it there. Another god tier trap where is this? Really helpful. Good trap would be this. It goes a lot of area outside. And it's in, in a weird angle people don't think really expect it to be there. This is by far the most OP cipher setup in the entirety of the game. This is the setup that makes a lot of new players wanna play cipher, especially by watching in the early days of Valorant, watching creators like P E and Spicy Curry do this setup. That is what motivated a lot of players, including myself, to play cipher. Today I'm going to show you how the setup is done. You're going to place your cam right there. You're going to place a trap like so. You walk up here, aim right on this ledge, cross a cage, you should land there. If you want to do it from here, it's the same. Just aim on this ledge, cross this, and it lands there. Put another trap so you can defend yourself if you're getting pushed, and this cage so you can make a safe exit. And now, as the enemies push, you can look into this camp. This is a one-way camp. They can't see this camp unless they have reached up to here. Oh, rush, rush. Nice. Flash the, flash the, flash the. One of us work, bro. Goddamn right. Cage trigger. This is by far the most OP cycle setup that exists. I love this set. Talking about variation on trap wires with the new update, you can do a trap wire like this. The reason I like this is because you can do multiple heights. So you can do a head height uh, trap wire, for example. If you have a enemy, if you have a sky on the enemy team, that works. You can put a trap wire here. You can do something like this. This one. You also have most well known trap wire for this one it goes like this you can also do one this this one oh, hell no man what the fuck do it just do it so first things first i place my cam right here it gives me complete here. vision into the side it looks here here it looks there here you can also see haven if it ends up being a retake situation First thing is I'll do a one way for this. Here. For showers. I'll walk into this corner here. Aim right there on that line. Here. And toss my cage. As you can see, lands there. And it comes to traps, I like to place a trap right here. On head height so they can't break it. I like to place it as close to the wall as possible. This ensures that they can't break it like like peeking like this. Without touching the wire. And that gives me a beautiful one way before it shows. I may sometimes place a trap wire here. There are, there are multiple trap wires here. Through various angles, I'll show you those. I'd like to place a cage here. What this does is, I can tag a person here, and their natural response will be to either kill the cam or hide in this corner behind this cage box. Trigger. And if I pop this cage, I can kill the person that is hiding behind this box. 
Yeah. And also kill the person that gets that gets caught in this trap. And if I end up getting you hold duty, what I would do is I'll place a trap wire like this. I'll come up here. Aim right there. As you can see, it lands there. Then walk into this corner. Aim right there. Right there. Close the cage. You can place another trap wire like so. I'm gonna place your cipher cam here. And this is how I like to play on this map. This camera is hard to break and it also gives you vision on to cramp anybody walking up ramp. Cage trigger. Why destroyed? I am trying to my trap. Ah. Player standing. About split A side, there are two ways to go about this. Depends on where you want to play. If you want to play on side, you want to come up here, place a trap wire like this, place your second trap wire like this, place your cam up there, you want to place your cam, you want to place your cam from up here, okay. like so. Put one trap, one cage here. Other one goes here. With this camp, you can look into yeah. you can look into tower. You will get the sight of anybody hiding here, yeah. and you see the entirety of the site. Also useful for uh, this is also useful for retake situations. Now, as you listen, you can hear the players early. And the moment you see them walking on the side, yeah. you can just activate this. Yeah. This serves as a beautiful one way for anybody hiding there. Yeah. They'll be getting caught in this trap yeah. and they'll hide there so you can get the kill. And then you can activate this cage to make yeah. an escape or you can just play from here. Kill the person, kill the person who gets yeah. eventually gets uh, caught in this trap. Yeah. Kill the person who eventually gets caught in this trap. The setup works wonders if you want to play from sight and if they fall into your trap obviously. That's what we do. Second setup goes something like this. If you want to play from screens, you yeah. want to place a trap wire. So the trap wire, like so. And you can place your cam like here. Now you see the number. So you're going to place your cages here. The moment you see them entering the site, you're going to activate your first cage, cage get the kill of that person. Since this trap wire. Since this trap wire is so far yeah. far ahead, even if someone gets caught, you can kill them right from here. I've got so many kills with this. I like to play from screens because this makes me this enables me to defend tower if I need to uh, help my teammates on tower. While also defending safe. And this cage also serves another purpose. You pop this, you can easily get into sight. 